Hi everyone and welcome back to another accessories video. Uh, this video will be all about Pico 4 controllers and I'll be showing some uh, new accessories that I got for them. So let me show you. This is a uh, uh, bare bone uh, controller except this uh, lanyard that got included with it. So you put it around your wrist like that so when you play it, if you accidentally drop it so it doesn't fall to the floor it's good to have it and use it so it's very simple and bare bone but how about something like this so we actually have uh, three parts already fitted onto it uh, first one is this uh, protective uh, thumb stick, this red one. Uh, I got this uh, uh, white silicone protection for the body. And this uh, transparent uh, silicone for the ring part. So what do you say? Does it look cool? I got uh, all of them uh, because of two reasons. One is better grip, both for the hand and for your thumb. And uh, the second one, obviously, the protection. So, uh, as you already know, when you have two controllers in your hand, or if you are somewhere close to the wall or some other object, you will most likely hit it uh, against it so uh, this uh, ring protection is uh, useful uh, if you don't want to scratch it so uh, uh, later i will show it in more detail this thumb stick has uh, although it looks cool uh, it has better uh, uh, grip so it's easier to move it around and this uh, body silicone is also uh, I have more firm grip and uh, by nature I have some <laughs> sweaty hands so it's uh, it's not slipping out of my hands and it's much more uh, comfortable inside my hand than uh, this one uh, so now I will try to mount all of these accessories on this uh, uh, bare bone controller. Uh, let me go one by one. First, uh, let me put this uh, silicone protection for the ring. It's nothing special. Uh, it's not too thick. It's not too thin. Uh, but it uh, fits the controller perfectly so let's put it on this controller oops so I wish only that it could be longer about uh, or three millimeters to fill in this hole but generally it fits perfectly uh, this second one I will be putting this uh, thumb stick protection uh, as you can see if it, it uh, it's not flat so uh, it has these tiny dots so when you put your thumb on it you have better grip than this one which is uh, flat and somewhat uh, slippy so I will try to put that it's uh, somewhat uh, hard to put it there without without uh, trying to damage the thumb stick but I will do my best it's hard to record and fit it at the same time but I think I managed 
so it fits perfectly. Let me focus on that better. So I got the red one, but uh, there were other colors to choose from, like blue and green and uh, black, but this one was nice for me. And uh, last accessory is this body protection, which is also silicone one. But uh, I must admit uh, I'm not so happy with it. I will show you why. Let's try to put it. So this this mechanism or how should I call it on the back it's not very convenient you have these silicon parts which you must set in this position so that uh, both parts of the protection uh, stays uh, together so these three ones and the last one here and why I'm why I'm not happy about it is because they could put this uh, how how do you call that one uh, they could put uh, another one here so <laughs> it doesn't uh, stick in all directions also when you when you are uh, uh, using your controller then uh, every now and then your finger will, will get on that part and you will sort of tear it apart and uh, I was thinking about that I should put some glue here or something but uh, then it popped on my mind that uh, when I will change the battery I will easily take off this one but uh, this which eventually is glued will I will need to tear it apart and only that will be the way to take it off so uh, generally it fits okay uh, grip is nice but only this it doesn't look very good here are some holes and and yes this this part just doesn't look very good but cutouts for the for the trigger and for the grab button are okay and this upper part is also okay so generally i'm happy with it but not with this one i will must make some improvisations with it so what do you think about it? <laughs> I think it's good all of that, all of these three accessories costed me about 12 bucks so it's not nothing some, it's nothing super expensive but it's uh, cool to have. And yeah, when it's uh, all fitted uh, on the controller it's, it's uh, much heavier and uh, uh, bigger which I actually prefer because uh, the bare bone uh, looks like a toy and it's somewhat uh, uh, light, much lighter than it is now. I would say now it's about 30% uh, heavier than uh, without all these uh, protections. So let me now uh, take everything off I want to show you something else so all of these are relatively easy to take off just like that let's put those aside 
I want to show you something about the battery compartment and batteries itself so uh, if you haven't watched my unbox video there's one cool mechanism to open it so if you see this tiny button or lever you just uh, put it down press it one press it down and it just pops up pops out so these are the batteries and when you want to put them back in you just press it like this and it's operational so it's cool uh, how it uh, pops up out like a real gun <laughs> and you put it back in there it's really cool so these are the batteries I will just take out one of it so it's uh, alkaline battery let me just focus better on it it's 0% uh, mercury and cadmium it's a double AA battery 1.5 volts and it's not rechargeable so uh, as I've been reading on, on the internet uh, there are not much uh, information about how much they uh, they last but uh, I've been using them uh, I would say for about 50 hours at least and uh, only a few days ago I saw that bar is coming down so it's about 80% uh, charged so I, I, I think that they can last at at least 100 hours but uh, anyways uh, I uh, ordered uh, some batteries for it and they are rechargeable so let me focus a bit more come on So it's a rechargeable battery, it's also alkaline, AA 1.5 volts, also 0% mercury and cadmium, and I got four of them. So uh, two for each uh, controller, and when time co comes for this to be replaced, I will just put two in one controller and put two in the other one and uh, if uh, all that uh, up until now wasn't enough you have something like this this is uh, a charger for all kinds of battery so you have these types I won't read the numbers but one of them is also these ones that get inside controller so you can put uh, four of them here and charge them very easily you just uh, use a simple uh, USB cable uh, you put uh, one end here and this end in, in, into a recharger and this rechargeable batteries will uh, recharge so uh, while they are, they are recharging I will use some like this temporarily and when they when this one got uh, charged then I will put back inside the controller and continue using them and I will leave those one those ones only for uh, occasions when I'm uh, recharging uh, these uh, rechargeable batteries so I think I showed uh, everything I wanted for this video uh, I will put uh, all of these uh, all the links for these uh, three accessories that I bought down there in the uh, description and uh, also this one if you want and uh, these uh, batteries so uh, I hope that you like the video if you did uh, please like and subscribe to my channel 
uh, that really uh, uh, means much to me and I appreciate it much. So uh, thanks for stopping by and see you in the next one.